Welcome to the quickie about lifting theory. In this video, I will explain you in a quickie how profiles generate lift. Asymmetrical profiles generate lift based on Bernoulli's principle, but that's not a complete story. Bernoulli's principle applied to an asymmetrical profile states that the same amount of medium needs to be there once the wing has pressed through the medium. Because of the difference in distance the medium needs to travel over each side of the profile, there must be a speed difference. The difference in speed results in a pressure difference. This pressure difference multiplied by the wing's area is equal to the force generated perpendicular to the wing's surface. To properly explain the forces go into play when the medium travels along a profile, the Kawanda effect and Newton's third law must be added to complete the story. Newton's third law states that all forces between two objects exist in equal magnitude and opposite direction. The Kawanda effect is the tendency of a fluid jet to stay attached to a convex surface. This sounds more complicated than it really is. Simply put, the medium is deflected downwards by the bottom of the profile and, because the medium stays attached to the top of the profile, even more is deflected downwards. The opposite force to the deflected medium is called the resultant reaction force. This force can be divided into a lift and drag component. The total lift and drag of a wing consists out of the force components due to the Kawanda effect, Newton's third law and Bernoulli's principle. Please subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out on any of these quickies. Our next quickie will be about the angle of attack.